Hello, I'm Chase Anchorman, and I'm here to tell you about the weather this morning. Later tonight, our top story, pie, delicious dessert or cold-blooded killer. Now to the weather from the pl in the Plum District with our friend Mario, the meteorologist. Mario! Go. Thanks, Chase Anchorman. Well, folks, today we'll be expecting a good old warm front courtesy of some global winds, which, for those of you who don't know, are the atmosphere circulations of air. Of course, this front will be accompanied with some wind, thanks to the large temperature differences we'll be seeing, and some rain in the South Lawn District. Now, we break off for commercials. <laughs> the single tear. For those of you who missed us, here's a recap. We'll be seeing a large maritime tropical air mass coming in from the South Candelanian Islands. This, of course, will be led by a good old warm front, which will bring it, which will be accompanied with some uh, humidity and some winds and some precipitation in the South Plum districts. Of course, this will be followed by a cold front on Tuesday, an occluded front on Wednesday, and a stationary front on Thursday. As you can see, because of the cold front coming in on Tuesday, we're going to see a severe drop of air pressure. This, uh, we predict, will be followed up by some strong winds going either at south or southeast. This prediction was made possible by our handy dandy wind vanes and anemometer. You heard it first here, America! First here! Oh, hello, <laughs> these programs are sponsored by Elmo's World and Pepsi. Sprite! No, Pepsi! <laughs> yeah! On Wednesday, we're going to see an elevation of air pressure, making good weather prevail. Now, a word from our traffic advisor, Josh Franklin. <laughs> oh, we're taking the car! We're taking the Oh. Oh. We're, we're on? Oh, okay. Well, down there, we got some traffic. And, well, we got a wreck right there. Oh, no, look at them. They just wrecked. Oh, my gosh. Don't go that way. And don't go that way, either. There's traffic. Okay. Now, a word from our sponsor. Planning a trip? Here are some of the highs and lows of air pressure in uh, Candyland's most sought after districts. We here have a high in Plum District. I'm mean Plum District. We have a low in Yavin Ford District. We have a high in Elmo's World. We have a backwards low in Rivendell. And we have another low in Northwest Elmo's World. And we have a hurricane in the East Avon Ford District. So don't go there. This is a commercial. Deal with it. Sprite! <laughs> also, on a less important note, we would like to inform you that Plum District will be going through a lot of humidity because of all the different fronts and precipitation it has been going through. Also, we can conclude that some dew will be seen thanks to our... Psychrometer. And, also, we would like to inform you that the chocolate ocean will be going through a slight cold current from the North Poles and the Atlantic Sea will actually be going through a little warm current so you, you know you might want to visit that back there but remind, remember that Yavin 4 is going through a hurricane and you don't want to stay too far I mean close yeah. Psychrometer Yeah Do you want to be protected from paying for all of this? Then call the number below at five 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 What what he said? Five. We're back with Plum District News at eight. And to conclude today's broadcast, we want to inform you that pie is indeed a killer, but also a dessert. And a delicious one at that. Indeed.